If you have ever worked with V-Ray UV Randomizer, you know it's amazing, but it's a tedious task to convert bitmaps to V-Ray bitmaps. This is a manual way to do it. And yes, you can use the V-Ray converter, but it is still a bit of a hiccup. That's why we're going to create a script to fix that together. I already broke down the steps into a diagram and we're going to go step by step on this. Before anything, make sure Python is selected, import pymxs runtime as RT. First step, I'm going to define a material object class to collect the name and the node from the material node and the position from the SME interface node. SME stands for Slate Material Editor by the way. Next, define a function to grab all selected nodes from the SME. Get the active view, get the num node, create an empty list, then use the track view nodes SME interface to collect all the nodes into the list. Create instances of material object class with all the info we need and append them into the list. Step 2. Randomizer node and V-Ray bitmap node. To find a function that can take in the list from the previous function, put a randomizer node in a variable. Put a V-Ray bitmap node in another variable. Step 3. Link them. This is simple. Just put the map source in. Done. Step 4. Replace the old node with the new one. We first get the active view and then just replace instances. Now we just run the function. Hit Ctrl E to run the script. It seems to work, but there are a couple hidden bugs. Let's debug it. It creates duplicate nodes. We just need to delete the selected old nodes. It only converts into one node. Make a for loop that loops through the mat list. Check. It crashes on other types of nodes. Add more condition to the if statement. Now it deleted every selected node. We're going to create a filter to deselect anything that is not related to the ones that we want to replace. Once we finish all the deselection, we just delete what's left. Check. It crashes when run without SME open, so we force it to open. I'm just gonna add another condition to not run if nothing is selected. Check. Finally, to enhance the user experience, I want the randomizer to be on the left of everything and all the converted nodes to shift a little bit to give a hint that they have been converted. We're going to have to make another function to get the position for the randomizer. I'm going to collect all the coordinates x and y into two separate lists. On the x, we'll use the min function minus 500 pixel to make sure it's on the left side. And on the y, we'll average everything to get it in the middle. Let's return the coordinates. Now add the position coordinates to our function everywhere. Perfect. Why don't I use AI to write this? It is highly unlikely that ChatGPT would be effective in this scenario. Firstly, it should be noted that ChatGPT was trained using data prior to 2021, but the Max Plus API for Python is no longer available in 2022. Furthermore, PyMXS is not as widely used as MaxScript, which could impact the AI's performance. However, I found some use case for the AI where it's quite useful. I'll make a video about it soon, so stay tuned for the next one.